Hello and welcome back to the Code Maven channel. In this series of videos, I'm going to talk about uh, the website called Cantonico, uh, how it, you can use it and how it was built. This website is uh, for Ladino speakers. Uh, and before actually, uh, uh, I'm going to go into the usage and the development of the website, I would like to talk a little bit about Ladino, the language. So people who don't know about it can understand a bit more about it. And then, um, well, Theoretically, or, or it would be much better if I could actually uh, present this whole video uh, and this whole series in Ladino itself. And one day maybe I will do. But uh, I think if I speak in English, that might be clearer for everyone, including myself, uh, what I'm saying, and more people will understand. So uh, let me explain a little bit about the language itself. And then uh, in the, the following videos, we are going to talk about how the using of the website that you can see on, on this page and then later on how uh, people can contribute to this website. So Ladino language is uh, also known, I'm, I'm showing a couple of pages on, on Wikipedia because that's sort of the, the easiest. It's also known as the Judeo-Spanish. Uh, it has several names, actually. The name Ladino is a relatively recent name uh, for this language. I think it's about 100 years old. Uh, earlier, uh, the, the speakers of this language, they just called it Spanish, okay, for themselves. It, it was just the, the regular Spanish. Uh, but uh, other people then called it the Judeo-Spanish, so it's a, the Spanish language of the of the Jews. Um, and then there are there are a couple of other names for uh, for this uh, for for the language, uh, depending on the time and and who who speak uh, speaks it. The language uh, was for many years written in uh, basically Hebrew letters that you can see here, uh, or letters similar to Hebrew. Let's say one of them is called Solitreo. It's linked here, and uh, Rashi, the other one. Uh, but also, depending on the location of the people who spoke the language and wrote the language, uh, it was also written sometimes in Cyrillic letters. So in, if the people were living in, in the Russian Empire or that, that area, uh, maybe in Bulgaria. Uh, today, um, in the last sort of hundred years, uh, most of the people who write uh, Ladino, they write it in these Latin letters, um, which itself, the whole thing... Uh, has some uh, issues or difficulties with the, with the language. Uh, where does this language origin is, you might ask, ask for? Uh, ask it for. So first of all, uh, the people who speak this language or mostly spoke this language, because these days there are not that many people anymore uh, speaking the language, they are called the Sephardic Jews. Uh, these were the Jews uh, who lived in uh, the Iberian Peninsula, so basically Spain and Portugal today. Uh, they lived there. Um, and in the at the end of the 15th century, they were expelled uh, from that area, and they spoke the local languages there. So that was Spanish or Portuguese or or Catalan or whatever language they, they spoke in the different areas. And then they were at the end of the 15th century, they were ex expelled uh, from that area. And uh, in the next um, page, I'll, I'm show, showing you about the expulsion of, of the Jews from from Spain. Um, here's um, I found a map that can be interesting. Uh, lots of lots of lots of interesting things that you can read about it. But let me find a map that shows you uh, how uh, what happened uh, to this uh, to these people. So they were expelled from here and they went all over uh, the world basically, or the world that time, um, the world known to them that time. Uh, many people uh, settled in various locations in in Europe. Uh, but a lot of them settled in the Ottoman Empire. Um, so it was both what today's Turkey and today's Greece and Bulgaria and all these areas uh, were at that time part of the uh, of the of the Ottoman Empire, and they they settled there, and they continued speaking whatever language they spoke. Uh, so it's not def not Spanish or not just Spanish. It's various locations, what various languages in the Ibasian. Uh, in the Ibasian in the Peninsula, and then uh, uh, mix them together, uh, and then mix them together with the local languages, whether it's Arabic, if they were in uh, the areas of Morocco, for example, in the North Africa, uh, or it's Turkish, if they were in the area where people were speaking Turkish, or with Greece, Greek, Greek um, in the area where people were speaking uh, Greek, or or Bulgarian, uh, and with other languages, and even, even um, uh, Italian and other languages. So this language uh, 
which we call today Ladino, is basically a mixture of all these languages, uh, inf or influenced by all these languages, and uh, it sounds very much like Old Spanish. Um, Spanish people people usually can understand it, but there are a lot of different words, uh, slightly different grammar here and there, and very interesting things. So. Uh, basically, that's the language. Obviously, my introduction to this was really, really short and simple and maybe sometimes slightly incorrect. There are a lot of other videos about the language and about the uh, uh, Sephardic uh, Jews, and, and you're welcome to, to search for them or read various articles ab uh, about this. Very interesting. And then in the next video, I'm going to get to this website, which basically I built with the help of a lot of people, uh, that is both a dictionary and uh, various, and it has various other content in Ladino and in several other languages. So we're going to look at the, how to use this website and then how to contribute to this website, to the content basically of the website to make the dictionary even better and have more Ladino content. So thank you for watching. Follow the channel if you'd like to have updates when, when, when I, uh, release a new video uh, in this series or or anything anywhere else. Thank you and bye bye.